One of my favorite things about working at SVS, and I think I actually hear this from pretty much everyone who works here, is how many times we get to interact with the SVS community. I mean, in a given year, I might have hundreds and hundreds of interactions by phone, by email, in person at our consumer events. And the great thing about that is I get to hear real feedback from all of you and get suggestions about how to make our company better, how to make great products. Here we are launching Prime Pinnacle, and Prime Pinnacle is really a response to feedback we got from so many of you. Um, we, as you know, or many of you know, our first speaker range was our Ultra Series. We wanted to really make a statement about what was possible and whether it was possible to really create reference speaker performance in price ranges that are not cheap by any stretch, but within most people's reach if they get excited about the performance and excited about the experience they might have. And it really did launch us into the speaker business in a big way, our Ultra Series. I was thrilled about that. Um, but even more exciting for us was when we launched our Prime series of speakers, which were more affordable. They were actually literally at half the price ranges of the Ultra series. And that really helped SVS take off because now we had a really full range of speakers that touched pretty much every price range that our customers wanted us to be in. And because we carefully voiced the speakers in the Prime Series and the Ultra Series to be able to match with each other, you could mix and match and create a two-channel system or a home theater system based around both of those speakers, whatever price uh, range you wanted to be in and whatever form factor you wanted to use. So really, really cool. The Ultra Series, Prime Series combination has helped us to become one of the top speaker brands in the world, and I'm really, really proud of that. But anyway, back to the interactions that I have with all of you. So many of you asked us to make a larger tower, larger than our Prime Towers, that would slot in between our Ultra Towers and our Prime Towers and allow a really high-performance solution that might fit in more rooms than the Ultra Tower and maybe be a little bit more affordable. So I am really proud to announce uh, today our Prime Pinnacle speakers. Basically, the ultimate expression of what we wanted to accomplish with our Prime series. Now, when we first envisioned Prime Pinnacle, we kind of thought it would be a little bit of a no-brainer. Smith Freeman, our chief designer, who you'll meet in a little bit, and I thought, well, this won't be hard. We will um, voice a tower speaker similarly profiled to our Prime Towers, but larger and capable of uh, more dynamics and uh, more low frequency extension, and maybe benefit from some of the things we've learned about making a speaker sound great along the way. So relatively simple project, right? Well, wrong. It actually turned out to be one of the projects that we worked the hardest at in voicing. Um, voicing is, is creating a speaker's sonic signature, but also its accuracy, its refinement, its I don't think this is actually an English word, but it's musicality, and then but with, without sacrificing dynamics and low frequency extension, because as you may know, one of the things we're proudest of at SVS is we want you to have refinement, accuracy, musicality, audiophile performance, but we don't want you to sacrifice uh, wide dynamic range, meaning the, the excitement that the speaker can create, or low frequency extension, how much bass the speaker can create. And Smith did a phenomenal job creating that, but it's a long, arduous progress, lots of listening sessions late at night. Smith got really sick of all our demo material that we were playing over and over again, but I am really thrilled with the result. What we have is a speaker that is refined, it's accurate, it's musical, but it's also very, very exciting. It'll work great in a home theater, but it will also sound very convincing in a two-channel scenario. And, you know, what this really means, and we've been kind of going around the country as we talk about speakers saying this, people ask me, well, I'm, I'm, I'm a home theater person, I like movies, but I also like music. What, what speakers should I get, or do I need to have two different systems? The reality is a great speaker should sound great with movies, with music. It should sound great in a two-channel environment, but it should also sound great playing the latest Avengers movie at top volume. And we've really accomplished that with Prime Pinnacle. Uh, it's a three-way design with some really interesting refinements that Smith Freeman, our chief designer, is going to explain to you right now. So one of the big challenges on the, on the Prime Pinnacle was how do we get 
uh, the low frequency extension, the accuracy, and, and the output to be as high as possible so that we can get closer to the ultra tower. Uh, with a smaller cabinet, we can't use two 8 inch drivers that we have in the ultra tower, so we decided to use three 6 inch woofers. And more importantly, each one of those woofers is in a separate enclosure, and each one of those enclosures is a ported enclosure. So if you look at the back of the speaker, you'll see three individual ports. Each one of those is to a separate volume that's just for each of those three six and a half inch woofers. And what that gives us is basically the total output of all three woofers and all three ports. And part of the, the challenge of designing the speaker was making sure that we could tune the cabinet volume and the port tuning for each one of those so that we got a very uh, uniform and, and uh, accurate bass extension from the, the total sum of all the ports and the drivers. So what other unique features will you see in this uh, Prime Pinnacle speaker that maybe aren't in the Prime Tower? Um, what differentiates it? So one of the, the cool things that came from this unique cabinet tuning and with the, with the ports and the three woofers is that when you look at the bracing design, we actually use that as an opportunity to put angled braces in so that we could cancel all, kind of, all kinds of cabinet resonances and also uh, help reduce any kind of rear wave that came from the back of the driver inside the cabinet. And material-wise, um, there's some new driver materials or at least some carryover from the Ultra that mm -hmm. we're featuring as well. Yeah, so the whole speaker really is part of the Prime series. It, it's the, the same design philosophy for the industrial design, for where the drivers are coming from, but to get the, the best performance from the mid-range, we started to borrow some of the materials and components from the Ultra series. So in particular, if you look at the mid-range driver, we are using the same uh, cast ABS glass fiber composite basket, but we're using the glass fiber cone from the Ultra series. And this is a uh, very light um, and it's a very rigid cone and allows us to get a very accurate and detailed mid-range and a really great blend between the tweeter and this mid-range and then from this mid-range into the three six and a half inch woofers. So to wrap this up, I want to walk you a, a kind of review the, the Prime series as it exists now with the Prime Pinnacle in the range. And then I thought, um, because we've already in the consumer events we've done talking about Prime Pinnacle, we're already getting questions. What's the difference between Prime Tower, Prime Pinnacle, and Ultra Tower, and which one should I get? So I'll kind of give you my overview on that. First of all, the Prime Pinnacle is the top of the range of Prime Series. It's our largest tower. We also have a smaller tower, our Prime Tower, that has been really, really successful for us. Also, our Prime Bookshelves, our Prime Center Channel, true three-way center channel, and then our mini Prime Satellites. And then we've just recently added to the Prime range, although it's not exactly a total fit because it's not a passive full range speaker, our Prime Wireless Active Smart Speakers, and our Prime Wireless sound base. And I don't want to forget about Prime Elevation, because Prime Elevation in terms of just strictly unit sales is the most successful speaker we've ever had. So that kind of completes the range of Prime Series, and you can get more information on svsound.com. But to come back to the question that I'm getting asked a lot at consumer events, which is the best uh, tower for me, Prime Tower, Prime Pinnacle, or our Ultra Tower? Uh, Prime Tower has been an extremely successful product for SVS. It's great. It was named by CNET the best speakers under $1,000, period, um, which was really an honor and great acknowledgement of the value proposition, but also just su surprisingly great sound, especially when you take the price into consideration. They fit in an elegant form factor. Um, they don't really have any deficiencies that I could name, um, but there's always more. And what we get with Prime Pinnacle, because it's a, uh, a more advanced design and also uh, uh, we're working with larger cabinet and more drivers, we're capable of creating, frankly, a more refined and accurate sound stage. Also, better low frequency extension, but because of the number of drivers we're using and Smith, what Smith explained about the different port tunings, we're capable of uh, extreme linearity, but also effortless low frequency response. So this is really a speaker that does pretty much everything well effortlessly. 
That takes me to the Ultra Tower. The Ultra Tower remains our best speaker. Um, it's a phenomenal sounding speaker. It's a very flamboyant sounding speaker, by the way. I think it's got a big sound, creates a big image. I love our Ultra Towers, but they don't fit in every room. One important distinction between Prime Towers and Prime Pinnacle and the Ultra Towers, Prime Pinnacles are very forgiving, as are Prime Towers, of where you put them. You can have them uh, shoved against a wall, you can have them up against your TV, and they're still going to sound great. Ultra Towers will sound great as well, but they're at their best when they're out in the room a little bit, surrounded by some air. So Ultra Towers, if you can place them in your room, and if they fit in your budget, are still a great first choice. But Prime Pinnacle are very forgiving of where you put them, and they work in more rooms, so they may be a better choice for a lot of folks who are a bit more space constrained. Um, I hope that captures the different reasons why one might choose any of those three towers that we now offer. But there's also more information on svsound.com or reach out to the sound experts. Thanks, as always, for being part of the SVS community.